where you'll find homeopathic remedies in virtually all health food stores and pharmacies these days. But exactly what is homeopathy? How does it work? Does it really work? And how can we safely and effectively use it? Joining us this morning is natural health care expert Mark Mincola. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to. Tell us a little bit, for people that don't know, what is homeopathy? Well, first of all, it's a global medicine. It's a natural medicine. You're talking about something that's shown steady growth, Shannon, in Europe for 213 years. It's a half a billion dollar industry here in the United States really? with growth of 30% annual. So it's a great natural medicine that the world's finding out about. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about how, how it works. Well, basically, there are natural substances that are inert substances from minerals and herbs and whatnot, and they're basically designed to kind of extract or enhance our immunity. The medicines themselves don't really do the work, but they make it easier for our body to do it. So how, how is it that they work then? Well, there are natural substances that work similar to what you might think of as a vaccine. In other words, if you take a polio vaccine, obviously you take a little bit of the problem, put it in the body to awaken those immune properties. Same thing here. If an herb causes a headache, you might use that herb to extract or enhance your anti-headache properties. You know, you hear about this stuff and you obviously see it in the natural food stores and, and in different pharmacies. And I think a lot of people think, oh, come on. You know, does this stuff really work? <laughs> of course. What would you say to those well, people? Well, there are many skeptics, of course, and the, rage, the debate rages on. But the key here is there have been over 100 years of clinical studies. And when you think about a lot of these studies, some of these studies indicate the usefulness of homeopathy for arthritis, for asthma, for pediatric uh, conditions, etc. The real key here is recently at the University of Texas' Anderson Cancer Center, the researchers found that there were several homeopathic medicines that actually killed human brain and breast cancer cells. This research is ongoing, pretty exciting stuff. That is exciting stuff. It's, uh, it's some big advances there possibly for people. Um, how can people safely benefit from homeopathic remedies? Well, first of all, I mean, there certainly are homeopaths that are registered homeopaths out there to help them. There's also, you know, an awful lot of pharmacies, as you pointed out earlier, and health food stores that actually have what we call sort of all-purpose medicines that have the names on there for headaches, for asthma, for allergies, et cetera. So folks can actually simply go into the health food store and work with these safely. There's no side effects. There's no harmful processes here to worry about. So these are really safe to experiment with. Is there anything to, s to stay away from that you might see on the shelves in there that sort of an imposter type thing? Yeah, or? Not really. I think, you know, some of the basic uh, homeopathic medicines are, again, widely distributed these days in a lot of the chains and a lot of the pharmacies as well, and they even have some of their own packaging as well. So easily, easy to find, easy to use, and safe to use. Okay, and I think we have um, a list here of uh, your top five single homeopathic remedies. Why don't you tell, a little, tell us a little bit about yeah, the first, first one Yeah, first of all, there. coffee accrued is used for insomnia. And again, like we said earlier, you're using the opposite. So coffee keeps people awake. So yeah. in the form of homeopathic medicine, tiny, tiny bits of it are going to help your immune system to kind of go in the opposite direction. So, like we said with the vaccine, similarly. Huh. Phosphacetum for fatigue. Um, aconite for mild anxiety. Nap Mirror for mild depression. Ignatia for emotional stress. Easily, to, easily accessed, easy to use, safe to use. Uh, there's no side effects, no contraindications with any of these. Do you use any of these yourself? I've used uh, coffee accruda <laughs> for sleep from time to time. And? I find it's very, very helpful. Really? Yes. I, we, we might need to get some of that. We don't want you guys <laughs> to use the coffee accruda too early in the morning. That's for sure. No, we don't want that too early in the morning. All right, some great information on uh, homeopathy. We Thanks appreciate you coming Thank in, Mark Nicola. Uh, for more information or if you want to reach Mark, you can visit maxhealing.com. And I think we are sending it.